Look, I'm so excited for what's happening with Nintendo Switch 2 next year, at least what's supposedly happening. Of course, this is all reportedly, all rumor-based, but we do have some new rumors on games coming to Nintendo Switch 2, coming from Nintendo Published Studios, so I'm pretty excited to bring this stuff to you. That's actually the big story we're going to do in the latter half of the video, because we also have a couple other really interesting stories. You guys know that, yeah, well, we cover all the rumors and leaks. I like to keep you up to date as well on the latest ongoings with Nintendo, both positive and negative. And today we actually have a couple positive stories, just glancing at it here. And one of them has to do with how well Nintendo is doing as a company. They have now reached a new all-time high. And the other has to do with a game already announced by Nintendo for next year, maybe coming sooner rather than later. It's one that doesn't have an exact release date, but we're going to talk about that in a moment as well. And you know what? That moment is right now. You can see here that we have Stealth here, our good buddy of the channel, over on X, putting out this. Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door Remake was rated by the ESRB today. This is a good sign that perhaps the release is closer than we think, and you can open it up here and see, hey, there's the ESRB rating. It's E for everyone. Uh, the uh, rating summary just goes into things in the games. It doesn't really uh, tell you much of anything that we didn't already know about this game. So that's obviously really awesome to see that Thousand Year Door, which right now is only slated to be 2024. A lot of people thought it might be towards the fall or end of summertime. But what if this ends up being a game that's actually coming out in the first six months? What if this is an April, a May game? That is entirely possible. And it was, of course, always possible for that to be the case. But it's still interesting to think about how quickly this game might be upon us. I know for many of you, this is maybe the most hyped game Nintendo has currently announced for 2024. Again, this doesn't really mean it's going to come out sooner. It just might come out sooner. It's a little weird. We've seen things right up with the ESRB, but then not released for over a year. So, you know, whatever. It's at least a sign the game is probably done anyways. Now, that being said, uh, we have to talk about another story about Nintendo because they have now hit an all time high. Now, you might have seen this trending in a few places, but we need to add a little context to this. Nintendo stock prices did hit an all-time high, but only in Japan. Technically, if you check the U.S. stock market, Nintendo's all-time high was $16.10 back in 2020, December of 2020 to be exact. They're only around $12.97 today. But that's not the stock market that really matters for Nintendo. We do talk about it sometimes, but the real stock market that matters for Nintendo is where the company's located, and that is in Japan. And that is where we have some very, very impressive numbers coming in because this is where look, Nintendo converts all of their currency and all of their stock pricing into yen. So this is where really everything matters. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. And, of course, this is coming from uh, Gerald Reddy, who put a screenshot up here. He says, on the last trading day of the year, that's right, the stock market is now closed in Japan until next week, so until 2024. Nintendo shares finally topped their Wii High eras. And if we look at this graphic, you'll see that their Wii High was slightly below the current high. The current high ended at 7,359 yen, which is right around $50 USD. And yes, it is the highest share value we've ever seen. And you can see back in the 2007 to 2008 era, right up in here, that yeah, they actually had some very good peaks. But what's interesting to me is if you look at from 2015 and really 2016 right here onwards, it's like when the Nintendo Switch was announced and onwards, it's just been sort of a constant upward trajectory. And Nintendo is just doing very healthy as a company if we think about not just these stock prices but why are the stock prices doing so well i mean the switch is technically downturning so why is it still doing so well well they just had a billion dollar move this year and that's just at the box office that doesn't include anyone who bought the digital version bought the physical copies how many you know royalties are getting heck it's the number one movie on netflix right now so what kind of royalties did they get from netflix for that movie to be there guys like we're just talking in general here that movie is kicking ass nintendo has theme parks now they're 
I have expansions to their theme park coming next year. They just announced the Zelda movie. And even though the Switch sales might be going like this, there's also a lot of talk and fervor around a brand new system. You have obviously the CEO of the company saying, hey, we're up here. We don't want to fall off the cliff like we always do. So potentially a new system next year. More movies coming out. Surely a Mario movie too at some point. Maybe a Donkey Kong movie. A Donkey Kong expansion is coming. Oh, by the way, Nintendo now works with Lego and like every Lego set they release becomes like the fastest selling new Lego sets ever. I think next up is Animal Crossing. So an Animal Crossing is massively popular and you can see why a lot of people would really like to have Animal Crossing sets to kind of go along with their fandom. So uh, look, Guys, Nintendo's in a very, very healthy place. This is quite literally the healthiest the company has ever been. The healthiest, which, man, that's crazy to think that this company's been around for over 100 years and right now is the best they've ever done as a company. Yes, all the Nintendo is doomed and all the naysayers out there, hey, eat your heart out. Now we have to get to our last story, and of course this is a story surrounding rumors for Nintendo Switch 2, and this is coming from none other than Nash Weedle over on Twitter. Let's just hop right over and see what he said, because some of you are going to be very happy about this. Bayonetta, baby. Some rumors on Bayonetta. So Bayonetta will receive a trilogy edition with its three main games in one pack for Switch 2. The games will bring visual, HDR confirmed, and performance improvements. HDR is big because that is not currently supported by Switch. And honestly, we didn't know HDR would be supported on Switch too. So did he just confirm or at least rumor in an HDR support? I mean, that's, that's awesome. Anyways, due to backwards compatibility, it can also be played on Switch 2 with improvements, which I don't know what he means there because he literally said the trilogy is going to be uh, put on Switch 2. Uh, maybe it's a typo. Maybe he, he he meant that this is a trilogy pack that's going to be coming to Nintendo Switch. I I, 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 I don't understand this. I'm kind of confused. Then again, this is the original text. So sometimes these uh, translations are not exact. Uh, but he, I mean, he clearly says it's coming to Switch 2 and it's going to have visual and performance improvements, including HDR. Now, the Bayonetta franchise to me is one of the unsung gems for Nintendo. I know Bayonetta 3 for many was not quite as good as Bayonetta 1 and 2, but still most considered to be pretty good. And if you bring performance enhancements in, you get that game to a locked 60 FPS. That would be great. Obviously, you know, higher, uh, you know, resolutions and all of that. Toss in some HDR. HDR, which just gives you some deeper blacks and, and just really helps out making the game pop. I do think that doing this uh, to all three games are, are just going to help them stand the test of time. Now, I do think we're going to get a number of things like this. I wouldn't be surprised if someday we get like the Metroid Prime 1, 2, and 3 remakes, like remastered HDs or whatever in a big collection pack. You know, we got obviously the Super Mario 3D All-Stars. What if that gets ported over as well and they re-release that with 4K enhanced visuals or something like that? It's entirely possible that we're going to see Nintendo doing a lot of this kind of thing on Switch 2. Because look, look at how many ports and all the stuff we ended up getting on Switch. But what if they start to go with the collection pack ports this time around. As an example, what happens if we've been all talking about how they might do an enhanced version of Tears of the Kingdom and all that? What happens if they just actually just do a bundle of Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom Enhanced Edition as one thing? I don't know that we were really thinking about that, but now that we see that this is being rumored out there about the Bayonetta trilogy, it makes you wonder if this is a direction Nintendo wants to look towards. Like, hey, what if you know we get Mario plus Rabbids, but both of them? right? Kingdom Battle and Sparks of Hope enhanced and bundled together. If you actually think about it, that could make sense for a lot of Nintendo's games that came out on Switch. Now, I don't think we're going to see like a Splatoon 2, a Splatoon 3 uh, bundle or anything. I think they'll just move on to Splatoon 4. Same with uh, a new Mario Kart, same with the new Smash Bros. But for a lot of franchises, I could see this actually making a little bit of sense. I mean, what if, what if they bundle Mario Odyssey with 3D World plus Bowser's Fury? Boom, enhanced 4K edition. I'm going to say it. I, I see this possibly being a thing that starts to become a trend and also could add some value if Nintendo does bump prices up to $70 on the next system. Well, it might feel a bit better if you're getting these two-in-one bundles. 
I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. Obviously, Nintendo is going to have a full slate of like brand new games and obviously brand new remasters and remakes that they haven't done yet. They're going to keep that stuff going. So we'll see. Obviously, our fingers are all crossed for that Ocarina of Time from the ground up remake. But even if that never happens, there's going to be other stuff. And I know one thing you guys probably really want to see. How about some Star Fox? Right? Like, it'd be nice to see a sign of life from that franchise. Maybe Kid Icarus Uprising. Like, it's some of these older IPs. It'd be nice to maybe bring back. I don't know. Just throwing that out there. Obviously, Metroid Prime 4 at this point. We just... Can we just see a sign of life from that game? Please? Not a new... I mean, even if it's just a new logo. <laughs> like, if you have a new logo for the game, just, I just need a sign of life. I need to know Metroid Prime 4 is a heartbeat. I realize, like, I've heard from my own sources, and we've had rumors about the game being done. I just... I, I, I want to see a heartbeat, <laughs> please. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for being here. I am Nathaniel Robojans from Nintendo Prime, and we'll catch you in the next video. Test. 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 I have to test, I have to test, I have to test, I have, I have, I have, I have to test, I have to test, I have to test, oh, I have to test, oh, I have to test, oh, I have to test, I do.